Let's see what this little shit did, man. Hey, stop draining Shut people. Shut your bald head, strong jawed ass, ass up, man. Gallon of milk with a face on it. So last Fuck off week, my I screen. updated you guys on this in real life. I've been hearing a lot about this little Leon shite and how he was still out here acting like a clown for his audience of kids. A lot of people are saying they're gonna pull up to this party, and beat my. Uh, respectfully, I'm five deep with a bunch of black kids, and they they have nothing to live for in life. They're not, they're gonna be they're gonna beat you back, right? No one's touching me. I don't give a. And while Leon in six is years. Ha. What do you mean in six years? What do you mean bees? Why would I? One of the fastest growing streamers on the internet. A lot of people believe that his hype is largely up, manufactured man. by Fuck bots up, that boost Stop. his social Stop. media presence Stop. and the view count Stop. on his streams. For months, this dude has been running around being a public nuisance, disrespecting people, and then hiding behind his security guards. He did even get checked a few times, but still in general, we felt that someone had to stop this fool. And well, guys, it looks Trauma like that might have finally happened. And I will say it was a very unlikely source to do so. And so the situation all really started when Eon announced that he would be going to the latest UFC events. Much like boxing was in the past, I do feel like these UFC fights have become more of like a social gathering for celebrities where they try and link up and network with each other. You see a lot of like in real life streaming going on and the head honcho Dana White is all for it. Okay, he's definitely like tapped into the internet, into social media. We've seen his various campaigns with Nelk, so he's all about it. Okay, he obviously wants to get like the younger people interested in watching the UFC. And with that being said, one of Dana White's good friends does seem to be Donald Trump. And so he himself will make a lot of appearances at these events. And so, of course, various streamers and other internet figures use that opportunity just to try and siphon some clout, maybe shake the man's hand, get a picture, get a moment with him on stream. And so, of course, with Neon knowing that Trump was likely going to be at this event, he was going to use this moment to try and siphon clout himself, okay? He was standing was there in his gas tank with his water hose. One problem, buddy. um, Donald Trump and the Secret Service are going to be there, so here's my plan, chat. Um, you know, you can clip this and, uh, you know, foreshadow it in the future. What's going to happen is I'm going to walk up, um, you know, I'm going to talk my shit to Trump, and then um, it's going to be a very good experience. And I'm going to talk shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there. I don't give a f I'm going to talk shit, so it's all good. It's going to be a very good uh, time. It's going to be uh, very interesting. And yeah, don't say anything. Um, I don't think the Secret Service is about so he should be fine. So obviously announcing to thousands of people on the internet that you're going to walk up and talk your shit to a former president is just a beyond idiotic thing to do. Especially while also throwing in that last comment about how the Secret Service ain't shit. Like, you know Justin making this announcement, this guy popped up on like a hundred different radars. Obviously Dana White cares deeply about his relationship with Trump. And so he wants to make sure he has a good time. He wants to make sure that some of these internet cloud chasers don't go too far in their pursuit of meeting him or annoying him and trying to get their moments. And so you knew he was not going to let this shit fly. And so while Neon was on his way to the UFC event, <laughs> he actually Stupid. got word that Dana White had shut that shit down. Neon's a little rat. Neon's not allowed in. What? They, used, they dropped your name specifically. Huh? They just dropped your name specifically, bro. They said Neon is not allowed in. In the stadium? Yes. What? And I love how he's just so shocked. Like, what? The words I said online actually gonna have bearing on my real life? Exactly, and you know, bro. Nico is just sitting next to him just absolutely fuming up. This is a man who's 100% driven by clout and by money. And you know he will be a cuck for pretty much anyone who can get him either of those <laughs> two sneak things. Over too. And so he's just beyond pissed off that this guy is lot. ruining his opportunity to kiss ass. But he still has to hang out with him because guess what? Neon is like 10 times more popping than Sneeko right now. What the hell? I'm not allowed in the stuff. You specifically, so now I need to talk to him about refunding the damn money. Hold on, no, 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 there's no f***ing way. No, no, you stay your ass in the car. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dude, you need to sit your ass down. I'm not trying to f*** with the Secret Service. But to make the whole situation 10 times funnier, nah. Dana White just completely the leaned press into conference? the banning when a reporter asked him about it that night. There's a popular streamer online called Neon, and he yeah. said he was a banned from the arena tonight, specifically by... He like, said he was banned from the arena? No, what happened is he, he said some stupid shit on Instagram, and, uh, you know, he, he bought tickets so he wasn't anywhere close. When you start saying stupid shit like that... Yeah, you're probably gonna get busted up and thrown out of here. <laughs> you know, make it and that man said you're gonna get busted up. Talking dumb shit. 
looking for clout. Bro, is, I believe he said he was gonna. I think he's he's said. setting a terrible a example for content. kids and young said. content creators, bro. Did he? Fucking punk. Thank you. Yeah. And I love how individuals it's who like are actual DC adults General? just continue to. It's in the Yenna Raw. It's the same thing. Is the punch? We got hit. We got no face. Are you talking about the way he got his shit to the side like this? <laughs> they both looking over their shoulders. His shit is almost. His face is almost in line with like his. You don't recover from that, bro. The fuck am I looking at? Should be asking him the same thing, bro. Ain't shit over there. You need to look over here. I wish him the best. Handle Neon like he's some annoying 12-year-old kid. Because that is essentially his entire persona. It's like on some Revenge of the Nerds, Revenge of the Incel shit. And pretty much anyone with a fully developed brain just thinks this man is an absolute clown. So who knew that Dana White was going to be the hero that we did not know we needed, but that we definitely deserved. And this is how you know that Sneeko was well, bent out of shape about this whole situation. situation. Is this the same face he made when he got cucked? You guys don't understand this kid needs to shape the f up and i'm not talking about his girl or like but in every single aspect it's bad it's really bad dana like clout f up your head it changes your principles like you don't think anything that it's bad bro Let's be honest, Nico. You don't really give a shit. You're just mad that he messed up your dick sucking opportunity, dude. Ugh. It's like one of those things <laughs> where the message is okay, but the messenger is not. He's still out here doing absolutely anything he can for like just a little shred of relevance. And you can always tell when he feels like he's fallen off because he'll just make some well, like damn, outlandish yeah, statements on Twitter, jugular. just trying to like rile up controversy. Like if anything, I feel like he's a way bigger cloud chaser than Neon actually is, to be honest. I mean, just look at this picture that he posted and tell me that this man will not say anything just for a single drop of attention. And then Neon's manager steps in to say this, the guy with the Illuminati tattoo on his face. What? He says, out of respect for the whole UFC, Dana White, Red Rock, and the greatest president to ever live. God damn, the glazing is insane. Last Bro. night, my client's actions were unacceptable, and I'd like to formally apologize to anyone that was disrespected. Last night was the final straw. You, no Kevin. more disrespectful trolling. I mean, it's just hilarious to me that these people are literally on their bro. hands and knees bowing down to Trump. Okay, oh, now he took it too far. Arms, like before when he was just harassing civilians. Screen, oh, that wasn't too far. That wasn't that bad. Before when he was on that racist shit, when he was on that incel shit. Oh, man, that's just Neon being Neon. But now that you messed with our connections, Neon, you went too far, buddy. A couple of days ago, the top G even threw his hand to the ring to call all these different streamers clowns. Damn. How do you feel about like the Aiden Rosses, the Sneeko, Zerka? Come on, lock in. Kind of walk lock in the, the woods. Like Neon is one now. Like, how do, you, how do you feel about these gentlemen? Also, shout out to George Janko, man. He's doing very well for himself. Since the separation from Logan Paul, this guy is so much more likable. Okay, I, but but Neon, Neon, or whatever his name is, he's a clown and Zerk's a clown. I don't want to insult him too much, but they're, they're just children being, stu being stupid. And, I... and so that's what Andrew had to say about Neon and his response to Andrew. Neon couldn't even say shit. He basically just called me a clown and said, I'm a loser bro and he compared me to zerka <laughs> zerka you know what bro you know what tate you know what i mean i won't lie zerka he's a lot worse than neon bro you know what here's why i really changed my ways and i you know i i, I genuinely say that you're right you're right bro i'm a loser i'm a clown you got it bro you got it you're right you're right bro i'm gonna take it I'm gonna take man you're right bro i'm a loser bro you're right and I gotta say, I think the only dumber person in this entire situation has to be this girl. They sent Neon's manager $30,000 to try and get a raid on her stream. This is a message what? to the Neon fans and Kane, AKA Illuminati manager. When I first met Kane, I was already very uneasy and the vibes just felt weird and I was super quiet the whole time. When I was around him is when the host the vibes. was brought up and Kane said they charged 15K for a host. 
I was obviously stupid and agreed to pay 15k for a host, which I shouldn't have done. She's like, yeah, I got bad vibes from this guy, but once I saw that the clout was on the table, all I had to do was send that little measly 15k over to him, so I did it. The day of the host comes, and Kane texts me and says, you need to send an extra 15k if you want the host. And I'm like, okay, I'll send an extra 15K and be a retard. So I sent $30,000 in total to Neon for a host. The host then kept getting delayed. And I was like, what are the issues? What's happening? And then we decide to call Neon one-on-one. -on -one. And as I'm speaking to him, we say we send extra 15K. Like, what's happening? So now I sent you $30,000 in total. Like, we want to know if this host is happening. And he goes, you sent $30,000 Jesus Christ, what an host? idiot. What the like he had no she sent thirty thousand dollars that I sent thirty k thirty he had no idea listen if you're sending thirty thousand dollars to a man who has the all seeing eye tattooed on his face, you kind of deserve to get scammed. I mean, it really just goes to show you guys how clout driven these streamers are, like they're so dependent on networking and kissing each other's ass, like the whole social climbing aspect to influencers is just so hilarious, like I don't know, I just couldn't give a who you know i don't give a damn about your follower count i don't give a damn about your impressions who gives a shit and you know things are bad for you when you're out here getting impressed by baby mutants or baby alien by the way if you know who this man is you need to seek god yeah can you see can i what can you see can i see <laughs> yeah can you see i mean I, yeah you definitely can't see your can eyes pop out of your head hey, why are you wearing glasses um because... you can definitely hear because i'm here popping out your head <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna say that when your ears look stupider than mine are you Dumb. Straight, then I like sticking out like this, boy. You like Dumbo head ass. <laughs> you know what made me get on your ass, Jay? Ooh, that Call boy, baby muted. Hey, mother. Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Listen, man, when you're getting violated by OF chicks and baby alien, you're not doing something right. So is that what you guys all do for work? I do. And you like you're, you're happy. But doesn't your girl do too? No, but she doesn't show anything like you whores. But um. I mean, but I make the most money. I don't think you make more than her. It's not possible. Probably not, but I mean, I'm Yeah, and then you have to, like, spread your p open and shit. Like, it's a little different. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I, but, like, I know like, baby alien like, you know, was from the crib. That, that jit sounded... Yeah. yeah. Sounded, it sounded like it was an experience. And that's the point one. where we are in our society today, where you have someone taking the moral high ground over someone else, who are both selling their body online to the highest bidder. He He's wouldn't like, oh, talk to them like yeah, that if, if he was in body he online, is. But not the same way you do it. Listen, That's just young corny. man, out there watching this video, don't be trying to follow in the footsteps of a neon. I'm always of the opinion that if your father is a good man, you look to him as your role model in life. And if your father isn't around or he's maybe not the best person, look towards a grandfather. Look towards an uncle. Maybe a coach. Someone else in your community that can kind of like show you what it means to be a real man. Because if you're growing up on this shit and these like various figures on the internet are like your role models, it's not going to turn out good for you. I promise you that. And the only reason I get on my soapbox there is I have to believe that a majority of the audience of these streamers are from like 10 oh, to cuck, maybe 16 oh years old. So in a lot of ways, they do have a lot of influence when it comes Ooh, to yeah. the youth. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think down below. Shout out to that man, Dana White. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's Dude, video. Dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Taz. Man, you smell like shit, Jack.